Okay, here we are at 2013 NAM. Dave Smith has unveiled, dropped the bomb on us, and I want him to describe what the Prophet 12 can do. This was a big surprise to everybody. Dave? Yeah, we, we, we did just kind of spring it on you, didn't yeah. we? <laughs> this is kind of the, uh, well, I think it's my ultimate synth. I mean, this is probably the best one I've done since, after 35 years, since the Prophet 5. Uh, it's just we kind of took the best of everything from our other instruments, added a bunch of new stuff, and came up with this. Uh, 12 voices, start off with four oscillators per voice plus a sub oscillator. That's an awfully lot of oscillators. Wow, yeah. And a lot of control over the oscillators. You have FM, you have AM, you can slop. We have uh, standard wave shapes, you know, the sawtooth, pulse width, all that. We also have wave tables with mixing and control between wave tables. So just a ton of stuff you could do just starting here. Then we drop into what we call the uh, character section. And here we have air and girth, which kind of work on the low end and the high end. You could hack it, you know, with bit dropping, you could decimate it. Uh, and we got a nice little distortion overdrive circuit to kind of its nice soft clipping. And from there it goes into the uh, analog low pass filter. We also have an analog high pass resonant filter. Oh, wow. Okay. Uh, then it drops into the VCA. Uh, we have a tune feedback a feature from our, the Poly Evolver oh. keyboard. Uh -huh. Uh, everybody else is finally figuring out that feedback's a cool thing. And they're all calling it something different, but you know we've been doing it for 10 years now. Uh, but nobody else does the tuned version. Uh, and then we have a quad stereo delay, quad tap oh, stereo wow. delay, okay. multi-mode per voice. So you can get all kinds of crazy rhythmic per things voice. going per voice. Okay. And it'll sync up to the four LFOs, and it'll sync up to the arpeggiator, and of course to an external clock. So if you want to get into <laughs> clock, clocked madness, this is the machine for that. So we'd have the four LFOs, we have the four uh, envelopes per voice. Uh, we have a stereo, a dual stereo analog distortion at the end. Uh, you know, if you really need to dirt, make it even dirtier than you can already do it. So it just does everything. I mean, it's just awesome to play with. We have new controllers. We took the sliders off of the uh, Tempest. So these are both position and pressure sensitive. Uh, but for that matter, pretty much every knob's a controller. Because, you know, knob per function, it's yeah, the way that's to what's do really it. great about the, the other models too. Exactly. Like, yeah, it's you, on right away. There it is. Yep. Here it is. You know, so it's uh, it's awesome and it sounds great. I mean, it's just yeah, incredible. just playing it and figuring out what was going on. It was so intuitive. Yeah. yeah. Turn up some distortion. Yeah. Wow. <laughs> so dual um, dual timbre. Yes. Okay. Yeah, so you do stack splits easy, and that's kind of nice with the 12, because mm -hmm. uh, you can still do six when you're doing stacks. Yeah. Mm -hmm. And six is a good number for, mm -hmm. you know. Make it really like, big, and then, yep. And of course, we have a bunch of unison patches in here to only use one voice, and they're like monstrous. So when you get up to 12, it's just like, sometimes it's too much. Yeah, but, right. Uh, well, it's never too much. What am I saying? <laughs> Anyhow, this is, um, we love it. And it'll be shipping? Uh, April, May. April, May, fantastic. Yeah. Thank you.